Hey guys, Chris the Midwest Bass Hunter out here at one of my favorite ponds. Uh, gonna fish a little Thursday league night. Uh, last week I had Grant with me, but he's fishing, but he's fishing a different pond, so we'll see who can uh, who can take the cake up in our uh, our neck of the woods here. But anyways, we're gonna fish from 5.30 to 9, so I've gotta get out there and get to my spot so I'm ready when it's 5.30. All right, guys, so I've got a uh, Tokyo rig with this big crawdad bait on it. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to fish that lay down right there and uh, do some different stuff with that a little bit. I've also got a black and blue jackhammer on. The water is dirty here. Usually the water is really clean at this pond, but it's kind of dirty today. I mean, it's not bad, but... It looks like there's a little algae bloom or something, so the water's a little bit green and like kind of, it's got like a little grainy. Then I've got a black and blue uh, stick worm, which I've actually caught a few fish on this one. So it's used uh, just with a light Texas rig. This is like a 1 8 ounce tungsten weight. And uh, I might throw that around a little bit. And then I've got a Strike King, KVD, Pop and Perch on. Um, and I might throw that a little bit. It's kind of windy, um, which I kind of, I mean, I like wind when I'm fishing topwater, but I'd like it to be a little less windy. Cause I think when it's windy like this, a lot of times they miss it. But we got a few minutes to go here. Four minutes. I hate sitting here waiting. I can't believe this guys. Uh, this is on my first cast. I literally did not have my camera on. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> All right, well, screwed that up, but at least we caught a good one. Oh, man, what a tub. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Eighteen and a half. It's not near as big as I thought it was, but that is a good fish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a freaking tub. Just an absolute tank. First cast with the Tokyo rig. I can't believe it. I didn't have my freaking video going. What a dummy. Holy buckets. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't believe that. I'm so mad I didn't have my freaking video on. So it's a Berkeley Chigger Quad, it's, crawl, it's called. So it's like a big old creature bait with a bunch of tentacles and everything. It worked out good on that one, holy cow. It dropped in and you just started running off with it. <sighs> Tokyo rig, this is fastly becoming one of my favorite ways to fish. Throw the frog around a little bit. Well, it's not really a frog. A little popper. There he is. I don't know if I got him hooked for the darn. He's a small fish. Well, he ain't 15 inches. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. All right, there you go, buddy. There's a fish.
go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> A little Texas rig worm. Woo! Yes. That is a good one. That is another good one. <laughs> Look at that. That's got to be 17. <sighs> little Texas rigged stick bait. And this is a Kalen's wacko worm is what this is. <sighs> that will help. If I catch another one like that, I'll be right there. I will be right there. An 18 and an 18 and a half. Holy cow. Make sure that's a good picture. That is an... Don't poop on me, dude. There he goes. After he crapped on me. Yes. Look at that. That is bass poop. Not cool on my new bump board and all over the bottom of my boat and it stinks like crap in here. There's one. He's a dink. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> That's not going to help. That's not gonna win me the tournament there. I need to find another 15 plus. Fish gotta be 15 inches or better in this little deal I'm doing. So far I got an 18 and an 18 and a half. That is gonna do me pretty good if I can find another one. Be a bass. Be a bass. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> He'll go 15 anyways. He feels heavy as heck. Yeah, it's a bass. It's a bass. Yes! Woo! That is another freaking good one. That is a 16. Well, I got bit on the, on the jackhammer. I might as well throw it again. See if I can get another bite on it. Then I gotta go find a freaking another 18 incher. The evergreen chatterbait, Z-Man, jackhammer, whatever the heck you wanna call it. And then it's got, I got a Kalen's five inch lunker grub on there. There's a fish. I think he's a super dink. He's just a pile of weeds. bass do not be a bite <laughs> are you kidding me i got a backlash on my flip and while i was messing with it a fish was eating it he ain't gonna be big enough to have it <laughs> he was fun i don't think he's long enough to help maybe we'll see he might be that's a good fish if he is, it ain't by much. If he is, he might have a quarter on that other guy. He 
just made 16 and a quarter. Just barely. Nah, he ain't big enough. <laughs> well, he's a feisty one, though. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of fun. He ain't gonna help me, though. But I still like to catch him. That's a nice fish right there. He really ate her, too. He ain't no 16, though. Certainly ain't a 16 and a quarter. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh yes. Don't jump, don't jump. I don't know if he's 17, he needs to be 17. Oh man. Oh yeah, he's 17. <sighs> oh yes. Maybe, maybe not. Look at that. He choked it. Choked that worm. Actually, I got him, he's bleeding. All right, buddy, we'll let you go. Well, they give me another quarter. Give me another quarter inch. I switched it up. I took off the Tokyo rig and I just got a Texas rigged stick worm on here. It's all jacked up. Just with a half inch, half ounce tungsten weight. There's the fish. Oh, stay down, stay down. Stay down. Oh, man. He's a good one. He might help. He might help. Too bad it's not best five. I've caught a few good ones here. He looks like he could help. And he's hooked good. Through the head. Look at that. Just another chunk. Bass are so nice out of this pond. Seventeen and a quarter on that guy. Yes! Let him go. So I had a pretty good outing. I finished with 53 and three quarter inches. I ended up in third place, so I missed, well, I, I missed tying for second by a quarter inch, but I would have had to catch actually a half inch more to win because Mason who beat me he ended up with a 20 I think a 20 and a half or 21 inch fish So he would have beat me the tiebreaker was the big fish my biggest was an 18 and a half So so he would have had me beat so I finished third um, So pretty close I was pretty happy with my with my performance. I did not miss any fish I didn't have no blunders like I did uh, the first league night we had so um, definitely satisfied with that and you know, the only blunder I made was not having my camera on when I caught that first one. So, 
and that was pretty cool. I dropped it in there and he ate it right away. My bait started swimming off. So it's always fun when that happens. But anyways, guys, I think we're going to keep doing this little league night thing. It's pretty fun. Um, like I said, if you're in Iowa and you want some information on this, uh, my uh, email address will be down in the, in the description. Yeah, the description for this video. So you guys can uh, shoot me an email if you want to learn more about it, and I'll, I'll get you in touch with the guys. Or just go over to Facebook and look for King of the Hammers. I looked it up. There's a bunch of different pages on there, but I'll leave a link for that too because uh, there's a bunch of different pages that say King of the Hammers. But um, definitely, guys, this is so much fun to do. And if you're uh, not in Iowa, you know, and you kayak fish, maybe you get together with some of your buddies and uh, see if you can arrange something like this because it's a lot of fun. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell down there so you don't miss anything. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.